peeps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew Lachey, if you don't know already. This video is gonna be all about what to wear to your graduation. If you have a spring summer graduation, this is gonna be more so geared toward those who are graduating from college. First and foremost, I wanna say congratulations to all of the graduates of this year and whatever year that you're watching this, college is not a cakewalk. There are some ups, there are some downs, there are some weird things going on sometimes but you made it through and now you gotta figure out what you're gonna wear to your graduation if you're watching this video and you're not a graduate but you know somebody who is graduating go ahead and forward this video to them also I'm gonna be sharing some things that you definitely need to keep in mind and look out for when choosing a graduation outfit so make sure that you stay tuned to the end so let's get into the outfits If you have a graduation in the spring or in the summer, one of the top things that I recommend for the women who are gonna be graduating is a nice flowy knee length or a little bit above the knee length dress. A lot of the times, obviously the weather is nice or it's just hot. You want something that's gonna allow the air to flow through your body. Personally, I would rather have something that's not so stuck to my body when the weather is a little bit hotter because of comfort. Keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that you're going to be sitting up, you're going to be standing up, you're probably going to be celebrating afterwards. So you definitely want to wear something that's a little bit more comfortable. That is why I like flowy dresses because not only are they cute, but they are also looser. So you don't have to worry about feeling constricted. You can wear that kind of dress all day without feeling uncomfortable. It's like really girly, it's playful. I probably wouldn't go too short. Graduations are a professional kind of event because it is a ceremony and it's also a family friendly kind of event. There's gonna be a lot of younger children there. There's gonna be a lot of older parents there. So I personally think it's more appropriate to, you know, dress accordingly. So I would say something that's probably not like so revealing in the chest area or like extremely short. If your taste is not really like the looser, girly kind of dress and you like a little bit more form-fitting, that's cool. If you are going to be wearing a form-fitting dress for your graduation, I always recommend having a little bit of a slit. You don't want a longer form-fitting dress that restricts your walking. We about to be walking on stage and we don't need no mishaps. One of my favorite, favorite things that I think looks so youthful, so classy is a jumpsuit. Jumpsuits are like one of my favorite things because they are like a one piece. Think about it as like a dress. You don't have to worry about what top am I wearing? What bottom am I wearing? It's like all in one. Now, obviously the thing you would have to keep in mind with the jumpsuit is that it's a process to take it off. So if you're going to be using the restroom, you might not want to wait to the last minute. Something that I really like about jumpsuits is that it's simple. It's easy. If you want to wear pants, but you still, you know, want your outfit to look a little bit more upgraded, jumpsuits are the way to go. There are so many jumpsuits out there, a lot which look very, very youthful and nice fitting to the body. So I really love jumpsuits for that reason as well, because you can still look really cleaned up and classy, but you can still look very youthful and like, right. One of the last outfits that I would recommend for college graduation is wide leg pants and a nice top. Something like a corset top with your wide leg pants. Now I, again, recommend this for those who want to wear pants. Maybe dresses and skirts are not your thing, but you can obviously opt out for a skirt if you would like. But I would say that wide leg pants are like chef's kiss. They always look good, no matter if you're tall, if you're short what your size is. Wide leg pants always look so great. They have, similar to jumpsuits, this like professional kind of look, but also it's very classy and youthful. You can always balance it out as well by making the top a little bit more playful if you feel like the wide leg pants are a little bit too serious. You honestly will always win with a good wide leg pant. 
I'm just gonna throw this in here before we move forward with what to be mindful of. The cap and gown normally is solid. There's normally no prints, no patterns. So if you want to jazz things up a little bit more, you can definitely bring a youthful pattern into the picture, a youthful print or some type of texture to your outfit. So I would say youthful florals are really good to kind of break up the solidness of the cap and gown. Also textures like lace are great for the spring and summertime and it's just a great way to break up the solid fabrics everywhere. So if that's more of your taste and you don't want it to be so like solid and neutral, then you can always play around with some prints, with some patterns and with some textures. Now I'm gonna talk about things that you have to be mindful of when you are picking a graduation outfit. First of all, you want to make sure when you're accessorizing, when you're picking all the little extra add-ons, you are taking into account that you're gonna have your cap, which normally has a tassel. You're gonna have your gown on. You're probably gonna have some type of sash or some cores on. So you just wanna be aware of that and mindful of that while picking your accessories because if you have really bold and really you know, big statement type of accessories, it can clash with everything else that you have on. Something else to be super mindful of is your cap and gown color. Not everybody has a black cap and gown. There are some schools that have burgundy. There's some schools that have green. So you just wanna be aware when you are picking patterns and you're picking colors. Try to do something that'll complement that color that you're gonna have with your cap and gown because you also don't want it to be clashing so much. And there are gonna be a lot of times where maybe you don't take pictures with your gown, but you take pictures with your cap and you take pictures with whatever outfit you have on underneath your gown. So you just wanna make sure that those are looking cohesive. Okay, two more things. Third thing to really be mindful of is the weather. Whether you're having your graduation indoors or outdoors, regardless of that fact, you are going to step outside at some point. <laughs> Even if that means you leave Leaving, you know and going outside to celebrate or take pictures or something if it's going to be really hot again that plays a part in what kind of outfit you choose because you're gonna be taking pictures with family and friends and students and there's just gonna be a lot of action going on so if you're wearing something that is either really restricting or maybe you can get hot in it really fast you might want to try to avoid that for that day because again you want to be really comfortable so just be aware of that last but certainly not least something to be super mindful about is where your graduation is taking place i'm not talking about if it's taking place in spain or in omaha no i'm talking about in the park is this on a field is this in an auditorium my graduation was on a field okay so you know you just have to keep that in mind because especially with the shoes that you're wearing things can go down if you decide you want to throw on some heels and you're gonna be in grass that's probably not gonna be the best decision that you can make now the reason why the grounds also matter in terms of the outfit that you choose is because let's say that you are having a graduation outside you're definitely gonna be hotter than those who have their graduation in the auditorium so you just want to keep that stuff in mind because for me, again, I had my graduation on a field. It was hot. You just want to be aware of that so that you're not, you know, wearing unnecessary layers or whatever can make you hot. You don't want to do that. Just get familiar with where your graduation is taking place so that you can prepare well. Okay, y'all. So that is it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Graduation is a big deal. As much as I'm making this video with outfit ideas, don't get too caught up or stressed about, you know, the outfit because at the end of the day it's not like it's prom for graduation you don't have to go above and beyond if you don't want to it's honestly not that deep what's deep is the fact that you're graduating okay you get that diploma that is so great and such a blessing and again congratulations to all the graduates of this year and the future graduates so if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. Join the family by pressing the red subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on that bell notification button so that anytime I post, you'll be up to date. I will catch you guys in my next video next Sunday. Deuces.